Pokemon trainers welcome back to another Poke Beast video in today's video we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Lucario Swamper and Charizard in the Ultra League Premier Cup now I'm hoping everybody is having an amazing time in the Premier Cup I'm actually not going to lie I have been struggling a little bit still trying to find like a good team to use for Ultra League but don't be shy to comment down below the teams everybody is using right now in the Premier Cup, I know I've been seeing a bunch of Lapras, a bunch of Charizards, a bunch of Venusaurs, and overall it is just a very, very, very fun cup. Now let's get head into the commentary for these battles. Now first, Lucario, in my opinion, is a great Pokemon even though it's ranked pretty low in PvP Poke, but it still hits hard. And as you can see there, I had to swap into Charizard. I'm going to go ahead and throw this Blast Burn because if they don't shield, it will be doing heavy neutral damage like it did right there. I'm going to be able to get to another to a Dragon Claw as well. So that is extra chip damage. And I believe right here I'm not going to shield. I'm just going to let the Surf take out the Charizard out. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be bring, bringing back in Lucario to try and farm this thing down. Which I do. Now right here because I saw that it was a Togekiss. I know Swamper will be able to get to the Hydro Cannons pretty quick. So I'm going to throw that Shadow Ball in case they like they didn't shield. And right here I'm going to be able to get to the Hydro Cannon. I'm going to go ahead and throw it out. As you can see there it does great damage and I still have two shields. Charm damage is, doing, uh, is adding up pretty quick. But I should be able to knock out this Togekiss with Hydro Cannons. I should be able to shield this comfortably and get to another Hydro Cannon because we all know that Swamper is deadly and it gets so much energy with those mud shots and we are going to be picking up the win in this first battle now Lucario does great Say against an Alolan Muk, and you're going to see why in a couple of minutes I was actually surprised by the amount of damage Lucario was able to do but in this matchup You always have to get out of a Charizard Lucario especially in the lead because Charizard will be doing super effective damage with those fire smiths now as you could see there i didn't give up immediately because if you're able to land two blast burns against a swamper you will knock it out and in the ultra league a hydro cannon does not one shot the charizard as you see there they have to throw more energy away even on a low on a low hp uh, charizard now i'm going to be bringing in the lucario just to try and farm this down but i do decide to pull the trigger because i didn't want to get hit with a hydro cannon so right there, I'm going to be boosting up my attack. And I saw that the counter still did a decent amount of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this. My counter damage and my attack overall is already uh, it's, it's, it's already boosted. So if I, la if I could land this Shadow Ball, I'm pretty sure it's going to do heavy damage against this Charizard. But they decide to shield, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Swampert. And like I said, from this range, Hydro Cannon will knock out uh, Charizard. I have to watch out for Blast Burn, but I noticed that they pulled the trigger kind of quickly, and I thankfully it was just a Dragon Claw. Now this Hydro Cannon, they are going to let it go through, and now they're going to bring in a Bomb of Snow, and this one, a bit of a problem, because if they throw their uh, Weather Ball, it will be great, but if they throw the other, the other move, then it will one-shot me, and I completely forgot what the other move was. But right here, it was kind of a do I shield or do I not, and I don't, and Energy Ball was the move that would one-shot me. And unfortunately, I believe I, if I would have shielded that, I would have been able to probably either lower their attack more, or lower their HP more, and I would have been able to pick up the win. But this clip right here was amazing for me. Go ahead and check this out. Lucario in the lead against an Alolan Mug. I'm going to be able to power up punch, boost my attack. I know that uh, Alolan Muck gets the f uh, foul plays pretty quickly, or Dark Pulse, I mean, pretty quickly. So I'm going to shield the first one. And after this, I will not be shielding uh, my Lucario anymore. I'm just going to go for the power of punch. I'm going to be getting boosted uh, counters either way, which is fine right here. I know Lucario can resist Dark Pulse, so I'm going to go ahead and not shield. I'm just going to farm this thing down. Look at how much health I have on my Lucario. And now they bring in a Meganium. So right here I was like, okay, I'm going to throw a Shadow Ball. They might not shield, but if they do, then, then it'll be great. But they don't shield, and I almost one-shot that Meganium. I just have to do one more counter. They're going to bring in Lapras. And look, Lapras is tanky and everything. 
I'm going to be able to get to another power up punch. So that's three times already that I boosted up my attack. And look at that. Ice Shard is not doing enough. I'm going to be able to shield this up. And I'm hoping to just farm this thing down. And as you can see there, I'm able to farm it down. So one Lucario was all it took against that team. So that was GG's to my opponent. Hopefully that clip right there shows you the actual power of Lucario. I believe it's pretty underrated right now in the, in the meta. But Lucario does put in work. Right here, Frenzy Plant. Lucario could take maybe one or two, but I decided to shield there because I know if I shield, they're going to shield as well because uh, they think I shielded for a shadow, a shadow Ball, which is why they shielded. And now for the second one, I'm actually going to not go for the shield bait. They might think it's going to be a power-up punch. It's not. They don't shield, and I am able to pick up the victory in that battle. Now right here, I'm going to try and go again for the Shadow Ball. I'm not going to shield this because I was curious to see how much Aqua Tail would do. And it does a decent amount to the point where uh, I was not going to be able to get to the Shadow Ball. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this power up punch. They do shield, which is great. They probably they were probably expecting a Shadow Ball. And now right here, I'm going to go ahead and go with Hydro Cannon. Now, I am running Earthquake in this clip, but I have decided to change Earthquake into Sludge Wave. Just to have a bit more coverage against the Grass types. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, uploading that video soon because I was I've been able to find great great uh, success with Sludge Wave uh, Swamper instead of the Earthquake for at least for uh, the Premier Cup. So right here I'm gonna be able to knock out with much shots against this Gyarados. They're gonna be bringing in uh, Empoleon with the waterfall damage. I tried to get to the Earthquake to one shot it. Unfortunately I couldn't. And now this right here is where we have problems because. I was very curious to see if, I, if a one blast burn would be able to knock out the Empoleon, but I get to it and because it's a part steel, it does neutral damage and it will be enough to knock it out. So that was a GG's to my opponent. Now onto the next battle, to Lucario versus a Machamp. This one, it's kind of uh, it's kind of tricky because the Lucario will go down quicker. Then the Machamp, but they're going to bring bringing in a, a Snorlax. So I'm going to be able to get to back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons. Hopefully, I either pick up a shield or I get the Snorlax pretty, pretty low. And as you can see there, I'm going to go for another Hydro Cannon. I'm expecting Body Slam because uh, Super Power will not be good in this situation because it's going to lower their attack and their defense. I'm able to just... Try and get to another Hydro Cannon, which I can. This will either force a shield or they will just let their Snorlax go down, which they do put up a shield, which is great. They're not going to be able to farm me down. A bit of lag as usual in Go Battle League. And as you can see there, we're just... Nobody's picking up any kind of energy. Uh, you know, there's lag, lag. And out of, out of nowhere, I'm gaining so much energy. They're going to get to the Body Slam. And because I saw that I got so much energy... I am going to block the body slam and I'm going to be able to throw in this other hydro cannon. Now, I don't know if like we were, I feel like we were both lagging because none of us took a lot of damage. I'm going to bring in the Lucario to just farm this thing down. And now they're going to be bringing in my champ. I'm going to shield this cross chop. Going to get to the shadow ball that will one shot my champ. And as you can see there. Lucario with the Shadow Ball. Hopefully this one shield, one shots and it does. Now they're going to bring in Gengar, which is a bit tricky, but I do have my my Charizard there. I tried to get to the Shadow Ball to one shot the Gengar. I couldn't. Now it is going to be up to my Swamper. I'm going to be able to Hydro Cannon this. It, I don't, it's not going to be enough, but I believe my shots will be able to handle it at, towards the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below your teams. Until next time. This is the Pokebeast. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'll see you guys next video.